Yo, what's poppin' Fearless Gang? So today I'm giving away my Ableton template as a free download. But before you go ahead and grab that and skip over this tutorial, really quick, there's a couple steps that you're gonna wanna follow so that you can get it set up correctly and you don't have a bunch of errors on your computer. So let's jump into that really quick. Okay, so when you first open the Ableton template, there's going to be errors upon errors on there, but that's okay because we're going to go ahead and fix them all right now. So the first couple things is I got a lead and a piano here and I got Omnisphere instruments loaded up. So if you don't already have Omnisphere or you don't have the patches that I'm using, just go ahead and put your instruments that you use all the time in your beats on there. So for me, I'm using a piano that I like to use, at least I like to start off with on all of my beats. So you could do the same there. And there's the lead instrument that I like to use. Go ahead and put a lead instrument that you like to use in there as well. Another thing is there's going to be a FabFilter Pro Q3 on each of these channels, on each of these tracks. Okay, so you can go ahead and replace that with the Ableton EQ or whatever VST plugin EQ that you like. So I basically put the EQ on every single one of these tracks in here. So you'll go ahead and have to replace each one of those. All right, so next... You're going to have a bass, I have a bass instrument here, a channel set up for a bass. So if you have a bass that you like to use, go ahead and set that up there. Otherwise, you can just delete that track altogether if you feel like it. I also have a kick, 808, clap, snare, and all these different drum samples that I'm using. You're going to go ahead and want to replace those with samples that you like the most. So pick out your best 808, pick out your best kick, your clap, all that stuff, and go ahead and pre-save them in here. Once again, we got the EQs on all these channels, so go ahead and replace that with the EQ of your choosing. Okay, so one other thing is on the drum return track right here, I have a classic clipper loaded on it. You might not have that as well, so go ahead and put any clipper that you like to use on there. Otherwise, you can use like the Ableton Saturator and make sure to turn on the soft clip setting and you can put that on there as well. I like to start with mine off and then I add it when it's needed, so you can do that if you'd like as well. And then once you have all your samples loaded up, you have your instruments ready and you got your EQs placed on there and you got your clipper ready to go, what you're going to do is you're going to go to your settings or your preferences in Ableton. All right, you're going to go to your file folder tab right here and you're going to save this current set as the default. All right, and if you have any questions or you're wondering how I set up my template, I'll put a link to the video right here where I described how I made the template and then you'll see why I routed all these things to these different tracks and why I did what I did. Besides that guys, I dropped my scales MIDI kit so there'll be a link in the description for that as well so you can go ahead and cop that for free as well and then you'll have the different scales that I'm using. Other than that, I hope you guys had a fantastic weekend and I'll be catching you guys again in the next one. Peace out.